Hello everybody, my name is Amelia and welcome to another Let's Play Animal Crossing video. In this episode it's day four on Tintagel and I'm just going to go through the gameplay. I'm hoping a resident will move in today, possibly. Oh, and I still don't have Mabel. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 4.01pm this happy Friday, October 14th, 2022. Now for today's news. Tintadel gained a new neighbour today, Rodeo. I actually chose Rodeo because I thought he looked a bit like an executioner and he does, he's the only medieval sort of themed villager I've got at the moment. I hope you give him lots of great advice about living here. Also, ta-da! Today Tindadil has its very own museum. Oh yes, it's a grand museum indeed with separate exhibit rooms for fish, bugs, fossils and even works of art. I wonder if this means I'll find red today. Mm, exciting. Blathers, the museum curator, says he's always available to accept donations or assess fossils and museum admission is free just like the UK the major museums are free so stop by whenever you like but like the new the um the niche museums are not like the Handel Museum and the Jimi Hendrix Museum are actually there's an admission because it's not covered by there's like a trust that's it's either from the government or maybe the royal family that actually makes the the cost of entry free and the smaller ones obviously they don't have access to that trust for funding i think they must have private investors by the way, we will be holding a special commemorative ceremony as usual. <laughs> I love it. Because we didn't do one yesterday. Stop by resident services if you'd like to participate. Alright, it's time for our final announcement of the day. For all of you DIY loving island residents out there, I have a very special announcement. DIY veterans can now take part in a special customization workshop I'm hosting. Learning how to customise will help you change up the look of any DIY projects you create. Hmm? I have no doubt it will broaden your creative expertise. I'll conduct this DIY workshop inside Residence Services. Curious crafters should stop by. That's all from me. Time for you all to get out there and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. And for some reason, I've completely forgotten what I was going to do. Unfortunately, my pumpkins aren't ready. Oh, I've got Harl. I mean, I love him. He's cute and everything, but he really does waffle on. And I don't like reading his dialogue. Why? All I want is Mabel. So I need some clothes. And I don't want to order myself clothes on my other island. Like I want to try and play the game the way it's intended even though I kind of cheated already. But hopefully I'll be able to get some hybrid flowers out of this. Pink ones. And I don't like my lips. So to cheer myself up, I am going to donate these to flavors. So I really don't want to hold a commemorative ceremony. I just maybe I should stop being a stick in the mud and just do it. So that's everything for now. Mm, 
Maybe I should go see. I should go say hello to my new friend. Oh. His house looks kind of cute. It's kind of fancy. His door is in there. Hey Amelia, already here for a visit? Unpacking this stuff is going to take me all day, so can you please come back tomorrow? We live on the same island now, so we'll be able to play every day. I'm so excited, chaps. Subtle hint. Bugger off. I'm a bit busy. I'm going to take a photo. Yeah, this needs to get bigger. I could make it bigger this way, but the house needs to move over this way too. That's the only thing about digging holes to sort of measure the yard is so there should be a message in a bubble somewhere. I should check there's no big fish. Oh, look missing. My islands of grasshopper paradise, a long locust paradise. It's a plague. But it says a single leaf. I'm a bit confused. Yep. That's quite funny. There's a recipe for that. Rocks are huge. I've just realised also have fossils for bladers, so I need to go back and get those. I don't need that anymore. Yay! I need to build ladders for these. so mean. <laughs> Considering I'm waking him up to donate bugs, it's just not nice. Who? I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl. Me too, actually. Don't you know? Drowsy in the daytime. But more importantly, hoo hoo, if it isn't Amelia. At long last, the Tintagel Museum has opened. 
this very day, no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old island ingenuity, is it not? Of course, it's, it was your very own donations that made it possible. So to you, I say thank you. Now, allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. You'll find there are entrances to the left, to the right, and into the basements. Each one leads to exhibit rooms here in the donations collected. Thus, each one leads to exhibit rooms here in the donations collected thus far have been put on display. In addition, the far room at the top of the stairs is a gallery to display magnificent works of art. Although, as of now, it's, in, it's still entirely empty. But, but, by my beak, it shall one day soon swell with wonderful works of art. Um, as such, we are still waiting for art donations, and so I humbly request your assistance. Oh yes, that's right. To streamline the donation process, we will begin accepting multiple donations at once. If you wish to know about any fish, fossil, sea creature, or uh, bugs, I suppose, just call out, tell me about this, and I'll be happy to do so. Anywho, by all means, do so take a gander at our collection. It truly is a thing of wonder. No advice. Might there be something with which I can assist you? Like to make a donation? Marvellous, what would your donation be? Woohoo, several things I see. Let us take a look. Splendid. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them out. I'll handle the rest from here. Might I help you with anything else? Assess, assess fossils? Who? What would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. Who? More than one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Woohoo! These are rare fossils, each and every one, and have not appeared in our collection. I say you have quite the knack for finding valuable fossils. Now, I do hope you will consider donating what you found. The cultural development of Tinter Gel is a worthy endeavour indeed. Meanwhile, I shall return these to you, but think on what I said the museum awaits. Might I help you with anything else? Make a donation. Marvellous, what would you like to donate? Woohoo, several things I see. Splendid, we will gladly take these off your hands. No need to pull them out. I'll handle the rest from here. May I help you with anything else? Fine. I still don't have enough miles to expand my pockets. It's a little tragic. Palm tree lamp. Fascinating. I think I'm going to go do the customization workshop, but I can't remember how much. Um, if I remember correctly, I think Tom Nook makes me build a wooden wardrobe. And I have a funny feeling I might not have enough. I 
think I'm just gonna cut down this tree. And this one because it's a little better there's a clear path and you don't run straight into a tree there's a many trees Is it Renee? Oh, she's crafting something. Sweet, this is really coming along. What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out, I'm making a spooky lantern. This DIY stuff makes some major, takes some major elbow grease. So I like to go all in on it. It's worth it. It's worth the effort though. You want to give it a whirl, making a spooky lantern? I mean, yo yo yo. I can show you if you want. Definitely. I thought you'd say that. Alright, here's the recipe. Go study up. Oh, to make that recipe, you've got to get your hands on a few pumpkins. Maybe you could try growing some. I thought I had a spooky lantern. Oh, it's a different one. Very cool. <laughs> it's so noisy. I didn't realize you could actually lie on the sleeping bag. It's a pity you can't get in. I'm like zip it. Oh, he's doing some dusting. What's up? You caught me at the end of my mid to late day home strength routine. Little bear. Guess what? I finally own something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep, I have a house now, little bear. I've got walls, a roof, even a ceiling. I can finally go do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. <laughs> so funny. Because he's so little, I can picture him ripping a hole in his tent. Pine cones from the pine pine trees. Is that how it works? I don't know. I probably should look it up. Going into resident services is going to trigger a long conversation, so I'm just going to go home and craft.
Maybe the wardrobe won't actually take that much space. Not that many pieces of wood. So while I'm procrastinating, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do a bit of shopping. I should have bought the Halloween candy. Although this year I decided I'm just gonna be tricked because I want all the face paints. Uh, Amelia, hello, hello. As you might have heard on today's broadcast, I'm now offering a new workshop on customization. I think you'll find DIY even more fun when you master this skill. I do hope you take me up on this opportunity. He must know I don't listen to him. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About that workshop. Ready to dip, dip your toes into the delightful waters of customization, Amelia? You bet. Customization. customization lets you change the color, fabric, or design of many items, the details that matter. Why, how much more meaningful will a handcrafted piece become after you've added that personal touch? Hmm, yes, that about sums it up. So, ready to try out customization for yourself? I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. Let's get started. I believe a brief explanation about customization is in order. Honestly, it's incredibly simple. First, you need an item you want to customize along with the required number of customization kits. Then you customize your item at a workbench. The design color will change in the blink of an eye. I do believe you'll find this easier to understand once you try it yourself, so let's get started. Your goal for this session is to make a wooden wardrobe and then do some customizing. The wooden wardrobe you'll make, as well as closets, chests and other items that store clothing are quite useful. You can use them to easily change into any clothes you have stored in your home storage. But that's the thing, Tom. This is my only outfit. I've been wearing it for four days now. And it's starting to smell. You could use your custom colored wooden wardrobe to put on your very own fashion show. Yeah, clothing not included. That freedom of expression is the sort of thing we enjoy here on Ginger Gel. Then why do you hire Isabel? She crushes all freedom of, in, of expression. Whoops, you're going to need a DIY recipe for, for it first. Let me just send it over now. There, all set. Come see me after you get a wooden wardrobe. Hmm? So let's craft. That's only 12. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Oh, Amelia, you've got your wooden wardrobe? I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I'll give you the customization kits you'll need in a moment. For now, please step up to the workbench. 
Hmm, looks like you're ready now with your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's customization time for you. I'm just writing my own dialogue. Don't mind me. First, Amelia, I'll give you some customization kits. I don't know why reading such a challenge for me at my age. Next, pull out your wooden wardrobe and try customizing it. Wow. He's such a great teacher. I think this is gonna... Yes, yes, masterfully done. As you've just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits and a workbench. You can take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future customization projects. Hmm? As a graduate of my workshop, you'll be now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now, for the most part, you can customize furniture or items you've made as DIY projects. However, some mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or an a design to it. Figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. That concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wooden wardrobe. Now take a break. I do believe you've earned it. Okay. There is nothing to wear. I'm going to have to get over it. I have nothing to wear. going to hold a ceremony. I mean, he's dropped me enough hints, right? so funny. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honouring Ginger Joel's brand new Mix Penny. Thank you. Ginger Joel truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. You mean me? I'd like to ask Timmy and Tommy to say a few words as representatives of the new Nooks Cranny. Timmy, Tommy, if you would please. Thank you, Tinder Joe. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. My brother and I will work it hard to make it the best shop. And I hope we can count on your business. Subtle. Yes, yes, thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions toward seeing Nook's Cranny books. Yes, 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 Tin Tintadel's very own Amelia. The floor is yours, Amelia. Anything to add? Yep. <laughs> Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt, encouraging sentiments here, Amelia. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to make, take a commemorative photo should get ready to press 
the button. Then. Well then, with hope for continued growth and to celebrate Ginger Gel's beautiful nooks cranny. Hooray! Oh, crap. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Oh, that was kind of cute. So thank you for watching this Let's Play Animal Crossing video. I'm going to end day four here because there's nothing really exciting that I'm going to do other than craft ladders so I can access the upper levels and sort of dig for fossils, collect more, harvest more resources because I'm running low and those things aren't fun to do. They're not sort of builds. But anyway, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be day five. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.